We all know the German Chancellor is powerful, but even so, the last few years have been astonishing. Remember Greece and the long will-they-won't-they they exit saga, which went on until Angela said enough. You might even think of our renegotiation. That may too go on until Angela finally says no. But most astonishing of all, the refugee crisis. Can you think of any other leader who would turn to her people and say we are opening the door not to hundreds of thousands, but perhaps a million or more? For all this, she was Time's Person of the Year. The challenges she was called upon to negotiate and provide leadership on, I think, show us that the peace and prosperity of Europe and the peace and prosperity of the world are very much in question and leaders like Angela Merkel are in short supply. It is an odd award this. It's given on impact with no moral judgment implied. Islamic State's leader al-Baghdadi was the runner-up and past winners have included Hitler and Stalin. Strange company then. But Angela Merkel's story is a remarkable one. She grew up in communist East Germany and could hardly have imagined she would lead a reunified country as it became one of the great powers of the world once again. Angela Merkel's journey from East Germany, from a communist Germany, growing up in a divided Europe, through to Germany as a democratic union and its place on the world stage at the moment is going to be a, a truly unique thing and it will certainly see her through history. Most of us know very little about the woman who may have such an impact on our lives. The moment here when she comforts a refugee and even the decision to admit quite so many from Syria certainly implies she's a compassionate woman. And that is what the Belfast artist who painted this cover says he wanted to bring out. What I set out to do was to in some way show her compassion, her dignity and the humanity which she displays and to have that shining out above anything else. Like her or not, Angela Merkel is a power in all our lives.